hello everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on our video today we are always happy to have you guys here so if you're watching today's video kindly consider subscribing to the channel do not forget to like share and also hit the bell icon so that when you upload a new video you're going to be notified and you're not gonna miss out on anything So on today's video we are still on the topic of destination wedding and on our previous videos we have talked about some of the things that you need to have in mind before you plan your destination wedding so if you haven't watched those videos kindly go back and watch so that you're able to catch up and on our today's video we're gonna be starting off with considering unexpected expenses Destination weddings are an interesting wrap for being uh, more budget friendly, but this isn't always the case. Be sure to include wiggle room in your budget for unexpected expenses such as non-vendor tips, airport transfer, uh, shipping costs and baggage fee. Plus adding that welcome party or day after brunch will definitely cost you. So also do not forget to let your credit card company know of your travel intentions so that you don't get hit with foreign transaction fees or worse, a declined card at the final hour you'll want to carry some cash with you in the local currency as well. Also, please make sure that you check local marriage requirements. Making a marriage legal in a foreign country isn't quite as easy as hiring an officiant. Different countries have different requirements, necessitating a whole myriad of paperwork from birth and medical certificates, uh, letters of intent, and even proof of residency. You also need to educate yourself far in advance to ensure that you have enough time to get everything together in some cases it may be easier to get a domestic marriage certificate these vary by state and also have a civil ceremony prior to your departure
also make sure that you have secure passports and other documents a valid passport is a given uh, is given uh, for international travel and at the very least you'll need a current driver's license for domestic destinations also need to double check all the expiration dates as soon as you choose your wedding date and location then check again depending on the country additional information such as list of previously visited countries health records or vaccinations may be required.